Springfield Highway 10. Oh, uh, yeah. I think right so, there. So, Jeff, if that's one. not Crescent Bar, what is it? I always I thought know. it was Crescent Bar. That right there? So many times on my boats and jet skis at Crescent Bar and come down the river, it takes like 20 minutes on the water when you're just kind of screwing around. That's got to be Crescent Bar. from the gorge. So the gorge is even probably further up than that. Well, you take, you can take Silica Exit to get to the gorge. Yes. Yeah, right where you see the channel markers there, it's the bottom of the Frenchman Pool you're on. We're just going to be home for tomorrow. <laughs> Is there actually a fence between here and there? Yeah, there's a fence. Oh. A little one. Yeah, I'll sneak up on you. <laughs> <laughs> sure can't see it. Just when you don't think there is one. Rob, Look, I that that first drop we did next to that okay. barbed wire. I was I actually heading towards it. I feel like map. crazy shoot <laughs> off. Oh yeah? Yeah. So you didn't it hit it though? my elbow. Yeah, there's barbed wire down there. There's one of the corn haulers we passed this morning. Yeah. So when I was a kid, you could still ride all that. Right. Yeah, over there. I believe it. That actually looks better than this. I used to ride that on a little 80 for Taco. <laughs> well, it looks like a track right, right there. Right there. Huh? Right there, you can see the dirt bike trail. Well, we saw one bike over there rolling around. A lot of people uh, are out there still on mountain bikes. But, Even yeah. The military trains out there on that side still. Well, here? Yep, right on yep. that side. They'll do a week. The gorge? Cool. It's just right Lots past that. <laughs> it's just right on the other side of the bluff or is it up the river further? All that city that you see down there? Yeah. It's just a little bit past that. So it's about where you see those trees over on the bluff there. Okay. So Levi, what's the horizontal lines called again? What? The horizontal lines in the rock. In the basalt. What are they called? I don't know. Oh, I thought you gave me a name the other day from the floods going through and making it. Oh, the water runs that. through those, yeah. The area is called Gavlan, but that's a uh, water line. Oh, you mean they run yeah. along this way? Yeah. Yeah, that's where the river, as it went from brand new to fucking old, right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I know a vertical real. Oh, the ones are from water. Yeah. Lots of water. The vertical rock is uh, basalt. Yeah. And, basalt and <laughs> if it cools underground, <laughs> basalt forms columns. If it is not in the presence of salt, if you see it shot through, when it, the lava came up, it, there was the salt. It was going into salt water, and that's when it's all fragmented. So well, we had salt water through here in prehistoric times. This is all most, ocean. Most of this was actually really solid, and there was a giant glacial dam in Montana. And every time that thing would release, it would rip in another layer of this. But no, Sunshine Wall is... Actually, that's Sunshine Wall right there. And there's actually a hiking trail that comes from the top of that to the bottom through the main face behind the basalt. Right. It's a really cool little hike. Okay. Cal and uh, you and I did it. You're real little bit. Because uh, my ex in laws lived in uh, George, so I'd get bored sitting on the couch by the yep. under. Actually, the biggest crack right there with the little knob in the middle yeah. is called Seven Virgins and a Mule. That's where uh, yeah, I, I did that once, and I'm tied in, bringing guys up behind me, <laughs> tied into the rock, and I had a damn rattlesnake come up and start yeah. messing with me while I was tied in place. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't fun. Yeah. I like to go up that washout though. We got rabbit creek that comes to the bottom of that washout and it's chewed up. 
Oh, mine. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. It is? Mine. 